looking at the man, Dan Greenewalt, the creative director of Forza Horizon 2, only available on Xbox. Is That's that right. correct? It's on Xbox One and on Xbox 360. And uh, I'm the creative director for the Forza franchise. And this oh, was, the uh, whole franchise. It was big news for us uh, here at the briefing. We showed a free track, the Nurburgring add-on for mm -hmm. Forza Motorsport 5. And then, Looked of course, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And, of course, uh, Forza Horizon 2, which I think people are, are, are really excited about. And uh, we're tremendously excited to show everybody what we've been working on. I, I did get to see uh, the trailer y yesterday, I believe, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really excited because I heard we might have some gameplay footage. Yes, we do. So we uh, we have a video that's direct capture of what people are doing down at the booth, which are playing the full demo. Uh, so that's going to be great. We can uh, take a look at that. All right. Why don't we uh, check it out? So I think there's some intro shots for a while, which you can see is a little bit of water on this Lamborghini Huracan. The Huracan is a brand new Lamborghini. It's a 610 horsepower, $240,000 car. Um, you know, a new thing into the Forza franchise is rain, weather, and so showing off the water. Yeah, and all this awesome. is made possible through our materials text. You can see, like, the, the shine on the wheel. All of this is uh, what we believe this new generation is about. It's not just poly count or texture resolution. It's light and it's atmosphere yes. and it's materials that really make things look imperfect, which makes them look more real. Yeah, light has been huge for me actually in games, and this looks great. Like coming across the car, and, and with, of course, like uh, like the, you know, the water on there. It's that's pretty impressive. And this car is just beautiful. I mean, over the last ten years, the power of gamers, uh, it's it's been incredible because I think games were kind of undervalued by larger organ or larger industries mm -hmm. like the car industry, mm -hmm. and so we would have to pay to you know work with car companies and license, and it was difficult negotiating damage. And, features like that. Yes, I recall the damage. Yeah, I remember yeah. back in the day. No and damage. We, and we really pushed through, so all the Forza Motorsports have had damage, and we've worked the manufacturers, but what's really happened is the rise of the gamer. Mm -hmm. Gamers now are a very viable market, even for a Lamborghini Huracan. I mean, $240,000 car, but even at last E3, when we had the, um, the McLaren P1, which is a, a million dollar car plus, and supposedly we sold <laughs> two of them. We sold two million dollar cars here at here at E3. Wait, what? Yeah. So that's the amazing thing. You know, I think people, uh, the car companies are thinking, oh, yeah, you know, um, Ford Fiestas, those would sell to gamers. They're just picturing gamers as young kids. Yeah. But that's not what games are anymore. Now we've got games with people my age, 40s, with kids, still play games, still play them all the time. Yeah. So it looks like uh, we got our driver in the car here. He's so, to go. Yeah, you know, Horizon's got a different feel than motorsport. The vision for the Forza franchise is to get gamers, and get them thinking about cars in new ways. So gamers into car lovers, and also take people who love cars and get them into games. So motorsport's about precision and competition, and it's more serious. And a certain type of racing gamer loves that. But other types of gamers really want to get into cars. So this is about exploration, open world. You can drift around and get points, which is more like uh, kudos in yeah. PGR. And that'll help you advance through the game. So it's not just about speed, it's also about style. And as you can see, some of the yeah. Drivatars, Drivatar technology is in Forza Horizon 2. And they're cutting through fields. They drive very humanly. It's Huracan plowing through fields, <laughs> having a great time. And so it's based on the same Forza 5 physics engine and graphics engine, all the things that were made custom-made for the Xbox One. But then they've been tuned. They've been tuned for the open world. They've been tuned to be more approachable, easier to jump into. So you have the same complexity of suspension model going on in this car, and it's going to deal with weather and heat and everything else. But then we add friction. We do a little tuning so it's easy to drift at you know 100 miles per hour and just have a great time. Yeah, it's really cool. I, I did notice how far apart these racers were, yet still racing. Like they kind of yeah. chose their own paths there, which is pretty awesome. Well, and that's the power of Drivatar. You can also see cars like that R8 ahead of us and that Viper are really dirty. You know, they're mm -hmm. collecting dirt by going off tracks. Just those little attention to detail that I that I love in games. Yeah, the polish the polish on this game is just top notch. It's really Thank there. You. Every detail I, you can tell. So these are all Drivatars, and Drivatar is a cloud-based. It's a the powered by Xbox Live, and it, it's a uh, an AI technology. It learns, so it learns how people drive. And these are based on Forza Motorsport 5 driving cars even. So because it's a cloud-based system, we can take the huge population of players that have experienced Forza Motorsport 5, put them directly into Horizon. So your driving wow. car, if you played Forza 5, is already racing in the Horizon world. Get out. That's awesome. The, the coolest part, and this is another one of those little details that I just love, 
this is an open world game, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of things hidden off the beaten track. So right now we're in a cliff area, so you can't really go right over this edge. Yes. But there's huge, huge swaths of this massive world where you can just drive wherever you want. And that means there can be barn finds and hidden things, like any open world game, all over the place. Yeah. Well, if you follow your friend's drive avatar and he's found one of those secrets, his drive avatar, again, it's not your friend, they're not online, yeah. will lead you to these secrets. No way. It's And, and that just kind of happens naturally. Again, a lot of the stuff, traditional AI, you program them, you, you don't teach them. Here, real users teach the AI to do what the AI does, and they behave just like the real player. I love the rainbow, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, double rainbow all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and there, those guys took an alternate path down that way. That's what I'm saying is really cool. I, I feel like I don't see that in other racing games. It's like once a racer disappears, it's like, oh, he lost the race. Mm. But that's uh, that's really cool. So this route at the very beginning features a lot of the open area. But again, now that we're in the cliffs, it, it's a little bit more narrow. But that's because we're heading into the beautiful, you know, Malfi Coast and into the into these uh, this town. Now the nice thing is you can see it's wet, it's raining. There's spray coming up. Um, I'm not sure if I didn't notice. Yeah, when we went into a cockpit, you may have seen the windshield wipers working. You can see there's water on the car. Uh, it just it looks great. Um, now, uh, what you said about uh, that was an interesting feature actually in the in the previous Horizon. Oh, nice! Almost, almost <laughs> there. <laughs> there, there, there. There go the jazz. <laughs> <laughs> so close to our friend. Um, all right. Um, well, I do. Uh, you see some damage on the car there too. Oh yeah, right there on the uh, well the the bumper. <laughs> you don't really get bumpers on this one. Exactly. The uh, the bumper thing. Uh, that is too cool. Look at that beautiful box art there. Oh, September 30th. I just noticed that on screen, That's right. guys. That is so right around the corner. It really is. And this has been a great year for Forza. We debuted Forza Motorsport 5 mm -hmm. last holiday you know, with the Xbox One, and we've been committed to updating that. We've changed it based on fan feedback. Mm -hmm. We're committed to building this community around cars and racing. We've added free content. And that's what's great about the Xbox One is we can continually update it. But for us at Forza, it's about more than that. So having Horizon be able to come the next holiday from a world-class team, they've been making it for two years based on the exact same engine as Forza 5, but improved and enhanced to have rain. And of course, you know, looking wonderful in the open world, runs at 1080p, the cars look fantastic. We just want to gain more momentum around cars and around racing and get people thinking about cars in a new way. Yeah. It, um I, that that is really cool. I did notice you said something during kind of while we were watching it that they could lead you to cars, and I love that about the first mm. Horizon. Is like you found these like little hidden cars, you unlocked more. How many cars are we talking about in this game? There are over 200 cars Wait, in this game. What? Which is you know, it's a very for for what you've traditionally seen in open world racing games. That is a ton of cars. It's a yeah. lot of cars, and it was ex you know important to us that we're building car passion, and that mm -hmm. means you need diversity. So for us, it's not even about the number. If I'm honest, it's about the mm -hmm. diversity. Having cars like a Ford Raptor mm -hmm. or an STI, uh, you know, uh, uh, Subaru, mm -hmm. that can drive through those vineyards and yeah. really get off-road while having these top speed cars like that Huracan, it's over 200 mile per hour top speed, being able to go on the freeways between these European towns, uh, as well as, you know, really lightweight, very agile cars to go through the mountain passes and, and the foothills of the Alps. That's pretty cool. Is there... Um as a as a like a new racer, uh, as a new racer and a fan, I, I know you said you have like the, the really cool like people that are like all, all into racing and everything. So what do you have for the experience and what do you have for the new? Well, you know that's what we call the forts away, and that's an internal term, so people mm -hmm. shouldn't like worry about that. <laughs> so worry about those things. Yeah, we just we talk about that because we want to give people choice. We respect mm -hmm. the gamer, and our, to me, I I want five year olds to be able to play the game. I want uh, an experienced gamer to play it. I want an experienced racer to play it. And the thing is. Experienced gamers are very comfortable with controllers and having uh, dexterity where they're, they're really going to work it. Yeah. And a, uh, a racing gamer may want a wheel. So we need a lot of, and a five-year-old's going to want a lot of assists. So having the green line, having rewind, having lots of yeah. assists, and then you can turn those off and the game gets much more difficult. Okay. Now this game features uh, user-generated painting as well as tuning and upgrading on the car. So if you're more technically minded, you can tune the cars incredibly fast. You can share that with uh, other people in the community, of course. Forza is known for its community work. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you can turn those assists on and off and, and really uh, make the game much more realistic, including turning on physical damage. So yeah. when you hit things, of course, you'll get cosmetic damage, mm -hmm. but also it will damage the car, and you have to repair that if you're going to be competitive. Interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. Um, I, that was funny, again, how we were talking earlier, like that people were like, no, no damage in the, in the games for a long time. But I love the damage. I think that's a huge part. Like the, It adds to the realism. And it's uh, the risk the and reward. 
I yeah. mean, if you're really going to push a car in the real world, we're, we're, we're not going to damage you, right? <laughs> I mean, we just debuted the Nurburgring, and the Nurburgring is, is known as being easy or hard to drive, easy yeah. to die. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an incredibly difficult track in the real world, 16 miles of guardrails that are just meant to grab you Brutal. and kill you. And we can't simulate that fear that you get mm -hmm. when racing. Yeah. But at least damage will give you like, oh, I beat up my car, you feel bad. Yeah. So adding that risk reward throughout the game is important. And what are we talking, now that you just said tracks, hit me with uh, some tracks here. What, what do we got going on? Like, are there 30 tracks, 100 million, 2 million? <laughs> it, it's really hard to count in Horizon. Horizon mm -hmm. uh, is an open world, mm -hmm. so it's massive. It takes place in southern Europe, so you can go from the foothills of the Alps down to the glittering mm -hmm. Mediterranean coast. There's a lot of these small you know, Italian and French hamlet villages okay. and some bigger cities as well. There's highways and off-road and dirt. Uh, the career is huge. It's vast. There's different mm -hmm. events for different um, car types. And, of course, mm -hmm. we have showcase events where you might race against an aerial jet team like you saw in the demo. Okay, yeah. You might race against a train. And it's about making racing more than just competition and time, but it's about exploration, having yeah. fun. We've got music. I mean, there's, there's twice as much music as the original Horizon, cool. curated by Rob DeBank, really hot tracks. And that's what Horizon's all about. It's the convergence of car culture, mm -hmm. youth culture, festival culture, music. So that's what that festival is. So when I say, you know, how many tracks there are, it's just a massive world. There's three times the drivable area. Yeah, definitely. And so sometimes, so say you're out on the, on the track, you can maybe just meet up with, or just, just out in the world, I should say. You just drive by someone. Can you, can you set something up like that? Yeah, this is the other cool thing about Drivatars. The Drivatars are just roaming around in your single player. This is going to be your friends and people you don't know as well. But mostly, if your friends have Drivatars in the game, even from Forza 5, they're going to be in your world. Oh, my gosh. And they'll race against each other. So you might be just parked on the side of the road taking a shot of a beautiful vista, and two of your friends, who aren't even online, go racing by you. Now, if you catch up to them, you can sort of, it's not really flashing your lights, but you hit X, and mm -hmm. you'll challenge them to an impromptu race. It'll just go somewhere random in the world. And you're going to get some money, basically, off your friends and some bragging That's what rights. I'm talking about. And at pinks? any point, yeah. Some pink slips, you know, who knows what you win in a race. Well, <laughs> and then uh, at any point, you can hit pause, you can go straight into multiplayer, the car doesn't even stop. So basically, you're just pulling up a menu, you say, yeah, I want multiplayer, and the car just keeps rolling, we sync your world with your friend's world, and now you're in free roam together. And yeah. you can have a whole bunch of friends together, you can do car meets, uh, you can do online road trips, which mm -hmm. isn't even about racing. It's like, hey, let's, let's head over to Nice, and yeah. you just uh, start driving. That's true. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I want to talk about a ton more now that you just said that. Like the atmosphere of the whole game, the level design, like uh, just, just the, the areas that they have. So incredible. Guys, again, September 30th is the release date. Right around the corner. So it's coming up. Get it. Uh, and we will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching again. Dan Greenewalt from Turn 10, Forza Horizon 2.